As regular viewers to the channel know, I live in the Algarve in the south of Portugal. Now, even if we are protected a little bit by the Atlantic Ocean, it's still one of the warmest places in Europe with temperatures varying from about 28 to 38 degrees centigrade from about April to October. Consequently, I've tried and tested a fair bit of warm weather riding gear and here's a quick rundown of what I use. Bear in mind that I'm talking about heat here, not water. It doesn't rain here very often and when it does I take the car, so I personally have no interest in water resistance. Perhaps the most important piece of gear for me is a good vented jacket and I found them surprisingly difficult to find. My go-to jacket tends to be this Icon AF mesh jacket in black and white. Black on the parts that get dirty, but they've made as much of it as possible white, which is great for reflecting sunlight. There's no lining, just a single layer of mesh with protection in the arms and shoulders. I've added this back protector from Oxford and drilled out the holes to clear them of the foam residue from the molding process and also cut a few extra larger holes to uh, aid ventilation. Yes, before you comment, I realize that this will inevitably slightly compromise the structural integrity, but having a back protector is better than not having a back protector, and I'm prepared to live with the additional risk for the sake of comfort. I usually wear this showy J. Cruise open face helmet when filming, as it's the easiest to take on and off when I need to mess around with the camera. It's also the most comfortable helmet I've ever owned, and of course, being an open face offers fantastic ventilation in warmer weather particularly as it has three adjustable vents on the top, which I tend to leave fully open all the time. Like with the jacket, I went with white to reflect as much of the sun's rays as possible, and crucially, there's an inbuilt sun visor, which is an absolute must-have for me, as I'm a bit photosensitive. Unlike many helmets I've owned, the visor is also extremely easy to flick up and down, which I tend to do a lot. I know Arai, uh, for example, don't like integrated sun visors, as they say they compromise the structural rigidity of the helmet, but a bit like with the holes I put in my back protector, it's something I'm prepared to live with. When I'm riding longer distances or faster roads, I prefer the added protection of the Nolan N105 modular helmet you can see on the left, but it's not as comfortable on my head as the Shoei, and by design it's also much hotter. When it's very warm, I take this water bag from Decathlon, originally designed for cyclists. I find it particularly useful on group rides like this when, out of respect for your mates, you can't always stop to drink when you want. Being blasted by hot, dry air for an hour or so, non-stop, really dehydrates you massively. And so being able to take regular sips of water while riding is great. Arguably the most important bit of kit after your helmet is a decent pair of gloves and indeed these are compulsory in France now and possibly other countries that I haven't lived in. I use these Nox Urbane Pros practically all year round actually. They've got good ventilation and they're comfortable. At least once broken in, for some reason the thumbs were too short for me so I had to stretch them by di dipping them in water and pulling them down over the wooden handle of a hammer clamped at the bottom while letting them dry. It's strange, I've never had to do that with other gloves. But what I like most about them, and this applies to all riding temperatures, are the palm sliders on the front. Now touch wood, I haven't had a serious accident on a bike yet, but I imagine that if, when I do, my reflex will be to put my hands out in front of me. And these sliders are designed to slide along the road rather than dig in and potentially bend your wrists over and possibly break them. Fingers crossed, I never actually get to test this. So what about riding pants? Well, to be honest, I've never found any vented trousers that I liked. I've tried a couple of mesh designs from Dainese and Revit, I think it was, but I didn't get on with the overall feel, and so I've just ended up using these Dainese Charger riding jeans all year round. They're comfortable enough, but they're a pretty old design with thick, previous generation knee protection. Uh, they're okay, but nothing special, so I'm not particularly recommending them here. Um, but if anyone does have a good suggestion for light and or vented pants, please let us know in the comments. And finally, footwear. I tend to use these vented short boots from Alpine Stars. Now, I've also got the non-vented version for winter riding, and to be perfectly honest, I can't really tell the difference between the two. 
The vented version is a bit chilly during the winter, cold temperatures, so there must be some vintage going on somewhere. But I can't really feel it that much in the summer, so again, if you have any tips, please comment below. Anyway, that's about it for this short rundown of hot weather riding gear. Thanks for watching and enjoy the sun.